Today is a day that we get our resident DIY experts in to tell us things all DIY. Alex and Hamish, good morning. Morning. Good morning. Now, today we're talking about pizza ovens. We are. Uh, this is something that, um, to be honest, in my landscape time, when I'm putting that little hat on, so I get asked a lot about pizza ovens. Yeah. Well, it's and quite a good, it's a cool thing at the moment, isn't it, to have your outdoor pizza Listen to oven. Mike, he's never put that hat on, has he? <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just crack me up every time you come in. I'm like, where is he going with this well, story? Well, I segue slightly. Um, point being, people like them. People mm. enjoy having them. You can use them as a fire, not just as the pizza oven if you want. They're pretty and you can personalise them. And dear Alex here is the master of building them. So you built your own, Alex? I did, yeah. I really wanted one and I'd looked up on YouTube, there's videos of how to make your own oh, one. Fun, and um, <laughs> But it actually looked pretty hard and then you've got to go through all the trouble of getting the fireproof bricks and all the fireproof cement. And once you've kind of done all that, it's actually quite pricey. It's not the cheapy DIY job that it appears yeah. to be on YouTube. So I thought, well, I really want to do one, so I'm going to get myself a kit set. Okay, Ooh, that, sounds, that sounds like yeah. a good idea. Yeah, which makes it doable. So basically you, you get this thing delivered on a pallet because it's 350 kgs. Yeah, it's heavy. So uh, that gets wheeled into your garden and sinks into the lawn immediately. And it took me about two weeks to get it across to the other side go. of the garden. And that's where the pizza oven's going because it's not moving Yeah, further. it was at right. one point, oh, I'm just going to do it here. Uh, but you, you have all the bits and pieces that you need and it's just pre-cast concrete and it's all heat proof and, and good to go. But you've got to actually build the thing and pick it up and make it happen. So what you don't get in the kit set is the table to put it on. And you've got to build a big concrete bench, basically. Okay. So I went on trade and got some, uh, some breeze blocks and had a ute at the time because we were making this TV show that Hamish was, was building stuff in. Okay. So nice handy ute to get all these breeze blocks. <laughs> and um, then I got some steel because you need to, you've got a 10 centimetre base that the thing's got to go on. So I got some steel to reinforce the base and there was a building site up the road. I went along and said, hey, have you got any spare? They did. Uh, so I cut a few corners on, on cost and then created the table to put it on and then you start to put the whole thing together and it's so heavy the thing you need is a friend <laughs> because okay. some of the bits you can pick up yourself but the big bits that go you at the need top. a friend who's got a bit of strength is it yeah. something yeah. that your average DIYer realistically can do at home yeah yes yeah or no yeah. You, you could I mean, I mean I'm like Competent DIYer. Oh, so I was going to say you're, you're <laughs> no, average. <it's> <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, well, you know you no, I don't want to go on about it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what tools did you need other than the friend, though? Um, simple stuff, spirit level to make sure you're actually putting this thing straight. Cheap buy if you don't have one. Yeah, twenty bucks. Yep. Um, uh, a, tr a trowel because you end up plastering the, the thing afterwards. You can see Cheap as again. I've sort of put it together, you, you know, it, it comes together quite easily, and you put your insulation on, and it goes in steps and steps and steps until it is done but um, yeah you need a, a wheelbarrow to mix your cement in and you get the heat proof cement for the bits that get hot and then you just get normal cement. And that all comes with it doesn't it the yeah. heat proof cement and stuff yeah so it's pretty basic tools isn't it it's yeah. just about taking some time and committing and getting a friend to help out yeah okay, absolutely so you, get, so you, look so you get you know you can see you, you chuck the chimney on the top oh, and it is. all goes together quite nice and, yeah. and, and easily and you tape up the bits with just some fiberglass tape, start plastering it up so that it starts to look a bit like a pizza oven. Looks great, and you'll be able to go and see that on our um, website as well, yes. cafe.co.nz. Oh, I just want to know, finally, have you used it? Oh, all the time. For pizzas? And all the, the yeah. time. And is it good? Yeah. It's good. I don't, I don't mind saying that my pizzas are the best in town. Nice. Excellent. Well, that's challenge, great Challenge stuff. accepted, Mark. Thank you. We would, we would love to come around and have those uh -huh. pizzas, so we look forward to that invite. Thank yes, you so much. That's, that's, Thank you for your contribution, soon. Hamish. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah, great. Always yeah. nice to have you guys <laughs> here in the studio. You're going to see my fireplace. Right, OK, cool. The community <laughs> act of our DIY experts, Hamish and Alex. Thank you so much. Great stuff, and we will see you next week. I will put the full video up, as I said, on our website, so you can check it out at home.